Hi everyone. Now, tell us guys, are there certain things that drive you mad, making you feel like turning into the Incredible Hulk? Of course, such things are usually yours and only yours. Some people get a pet peeve with diamond-shaped tiles, others can't stand seeing roses, and some others hate when people offer them a cup of coffee. But you must agree that there are things that drive absolutely everybody crazy. So in today's video, we're going to talk about 15 things that drive us all nuts. Let's get it on. USB ports. If you own a laptop computer, you're most likely familiar with this situation. So you've got your mouse connected in one port and your ebook reader charging in the other one, and right in that moment, you need to transfer some information from your USB drive to your computer. For example, a presentation you have to show tomorrow at the university or some photos of your kitty. Fortunately, manufacturers thought of this and made several USB ports for these situations, so a couple of them are still free. But why? Why on earth do they have to put them so close to each other? In the end, one gadget touches another, the USB drive pulls out, the file transfer stops and you're so mad you want to destroy everything around you. Ugh. Shampoo Leftovers One might think, what can drive you mad in the shower? Just wash yourself, enjoy, relax in the hot water and think about good things until you decide to wash your hair. We're not talking about the fact that shampoo can make your eyes tingle. The problem is that there's only some shampoo left. Just a drop, actually, and it would be enough for you, but there's a but. Before the freaking shampoo gets out of the bottle, it'll take so long that you could freeze, start hating the whole world and maybe go bald because you'll be so old by that time. Alright, alright, of course we're being a little bit too dramatic, but you've got to agree that these shampoo leftovers and shower gels on the bottom of the bottle are incredibly irritating. Fabric and Zipper Clothes with zip fasteners are really practical because they save us a lot of time and at the same time they look pretty cool. But it's so infuriating when the fabric suddenly gets stuck in between the teeth and the slider and you can't take it out. You pull it, then again, then again, then again but harder. Then you try to pull the fabric slowly, close the zipper, open it, cast a spell, summon some magic elves, turn to higher forces, dance like a shaman, but it's all a waste of time. We believe that zippers are super tricky and probably can feel your rush because it never happens when you're trying your clothes calmly at home, right? By the way, do you remember when your mum pinched your chin with a zipper when you're getting ready for school? Oh yeah, we all know the pain. Blocked videos. Do you also think that you can find absolutely everything on YouTube? Recipes, reviews, funny videos, cool new clips of your favorite artists, and at the same time all sorts of videos from well-known bloggers. It's a perfect place to calmly spend the evening and rest, but right when you're starting to relax in front of the screen, surrounded by your favorite snacks, you click on a video that you've been meaning to see, and YouTube instantly deprives you of the pleasure. The, this video is not available in your country caption appears on the screen, and you even stop chewing. Hey, that's not fair. Of course, you can bypass the blockage using some special programs, but the moment of relaxation is already lost, so what's the point? Bedsheet Everyone who loves tossing and turning in bed is familiar with this situation. Maybe you're dreaming of something disturbing or just can't find the perfect position to fall asleep. It doesn't matter because the result is always the same. After some time, you start realizing that you're not lying on a soft, fresh bedsheet, but directly on the mattress instead, and that doesn't make you feel any more comfortable. Of course, most of you just try to rearrange the bedsheet without getting out of bed and losing your sleep. But it's not an easy task because, well, because you're lying on that very sheet. Eventually, you manage to win this fight, but there's one little problem. Now you're not sleepy at all, which means you'll have to start all over again when you're comfy and suddenly need to go to the toilet. So you manage to get comfortable. The sheet is lying where it should, the pillow is perfectly cool, the blanket carefully protects you from all the monsters, and silence and peace surround you. It's time to fall asleep and enjoy some pleasant dreams. You're already closing your eyes. You're about to enter dreamland just in a second and... And you suddenly realize that you urgently need to go to the bathroom. Yes, right now. No, we can't wait until the morning because you clearly understand that if you don't get up now, then it can end up really unpleasant later. But you really don't want to leave your bed so warm and cozy. Ugh, this is just incredibly infuriating. Jeans and door handles. 
Jeans and door handled manufacturers couldn't even imagine that their products would join together and piss off so many people around the world. Or maybe it was a conspiracy by Dr. Evil. To be honest, we're not sure about it, but we know for sure that when a door handle gets stuck in the belt loop, it can piss anyone off, even the most patient person. Everything seemed fine. You were minding your own business and just happened to pass next to the door without planning to stop there, but seems like the door handle had different plans. Otherwise, how can you explain that it literally grabbed you when you weren't expecting it? In this situation, you should remember that the most important thing is to notice what happened, or you can lose your pants. Backlit it happens all the time when the back lids of some small gadgets always try to get lost somewhere. Who knows why they behave that way, since you always treat them nicely and almost with love. But it's always the same. You take the TV remote control, put it on the armrest, and the next thing you know, the back lid is missing. But keep calm. Don't throw the remote control into the wall if you don't want to lose the batteries, too. Closed Pistachio <clears throat> oh, sorry, we just wanted to say that this is so very much frustrating. It's incredible how these small, innocent nuts can cause this reaction when you want to eat them. And instead of a tasty, salty pulp, your teeth bang against the hard shell. And it's not just hard, but solid like Smaug scales. Well, you probably have to be some kind of superhero or have some incredible patience in order to open this pistachio. Anyway, this surprise always drives everyone nuts. No more sauce, but still lots of food. We all hate it when for some reason we have to eat something disgusting or just some meal we don't like. Like uh, boiled broccoli. Oh, gross. But sometimes even your favorite food in the whole world can upset you. How come? Elementary, my dear Watson. When you finish the sauce before you finish the food. And it is still kind of tasty, but now it's like too dry, too bland. Anyway, it's not like it was before. It's really frustrating how hard it is to calculate the perfect amount of sauce. Maybe it'll take you several years or you'll have to study at some secret Tibetan monastery. What do you think? Price labels don't come off completely. It seems like price labels that are glued too tightly were invented by some evil genius. Well, how else can you explain that these little pieces of paper are impossible to take off without using something else? And even if you do use some tool, it doesn't always work. Of course, we know why it's there, but it really pisses you off when this sticky label doesn't come off. Besides, it's probably on the most visible spot and everyone will see the marks of your nails. So we recommend the manufacturers to think about this and fix the problem before it drives everyone crazy. Water flowing into your sleeve. Not everyone likes washing dishes, but most of us are just too lazy to do it. Well, what could happen if a plate and a mug stay in the sink for a couple of hours? Or days, right? But your parents often have a different opinion, and you still have to face a mountain of dirty dishes. Okay, here's the sponge, here's the detergent, here are the dishes, here's the water pouring from the tap, and flowing on your arm and right into your sleeve. And in a couple of seconds, you're standing in the middle of the kitchen in a completely soaked sweater, and don't understand what the hell happened. And you're also very, very, very angry. After all, why not just buy a dishwasher? Paper towel. Well, this terrible situation is waiting for you in public toilets and other similar places where there are paper towels. It seems that towels are designed to wipe wet hands, right? So why do they tear immediately once you start pulling them out? Bam! And your hands are covered with gross wet pellets like the rest of the paper towel is sadly sticking out the machine. And people behind you look at all this mess reproachfully. They are actually right, but you're not to blame. Hitting your elbow. We know this has happened to everyone. You're sitting at the table or going somewhere where you accidentally hit your elbow against some solid object. Ouch! It's always incredibly painful, even if the impact is only small. And now you forget everything and you rub the affected area, cursing the unfortunate corner of the table, the cabinet or other piece of furniture for their treachery. The problem is in the ulnar nerve, which is located at the back of the elbow. You can feel it if you press your fingers above the bone in this place. Just don't press too hard so your fingers won't go numb. At some point, you'll feel a kind of electrical discharge and bloop, yeah, that was it. It's no wonder that a stroke feels so unpleasant. Burrs. Even a tiny piece of skin near the nail can be terribly annoying. Firstly, it looks ugly. 
Secondly, it clings to the clothes, and thirdly, if you try and tear it away, you can fail at calculating your strength, and then, well, at best, you'll have a very, very unpleasant sensation. At worst, you can accidentally tear off not only the burr, but a decent piece of skin of the finger along with it. Ugh. And after all, everyone knows this, but every time we hope that now we'll definitely be lucky, and if the result won't be so terribly annoying. But alas, every time is the same thing, and this is really frustrating. Friends, what is the most annoying thing for you in the world? Tell us in the comments and don't forget about the likes. If you haven't checked Jelly Gummy Bear's channel yet, you should do it right away. You'll certainly like all the funny experiments with the Jelly Bear, cool life hacks, awesome homemade stuff, and exciting adventures that are waiting for you on the channel. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.